So welcome. We are Quilters HQ and Mill Sewing Center and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and qhq2.com. We do this every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central till 7-ish if we finish early. We try not to go late, but sometimes we do. So this is a June Taylor's Quilt As You Go stocking. They have a bunch of projects, totes, Christmas tree skirts, table runners, placemats, all kinds of stuff. So I want to, we showed them last week and people asked us to make one of these. And so I've already pre um, kind of ironed and stabilized. I did use 505 spray to adhere the backing fabric to the the batting. Um, first step that you're supposed to do, which I'm going to go back and do now, is actually sew around your shape. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit so I can kind of figure out where it is. So I skipped a step. We never do that, right? Hi Donna, how are you? Welcome from Arkansas. Hi Dorothy, welcome right from Alaska. Line. Alaska, we were just there. Yeah, shout out to you guys up there. It was a pretty great quilt store we stopped at in Skagway. The ladies were super nice. So Very nice. We did promise to give a shout out to them, and so we're doing that now. I picked up a couple of quilt kits there. Yes. I have not made them yet, and it might be a whole year before I do, but... Dorothy? Hmm. So your first step in doing these is once you have your backing attached is to sew around the shape and I'm just kind of peeking here to make sure I'm sewing on this line. And the reason you do this is because you use this line later when you piece these together. So don't do like I just did and skip it. <laughs> you'll regret it later. Oops. It is important that you have your pressure put down there. Right? Yeah. That's key to all sewing. I did a little, I did learn something today. We had a serger event and so I was doing some ruffling. Ruffling is so much And fun. I wasn't actually making potato chips or anything. I was actually doing some ruffling. I don't know if we have any of those pieces, but. I don't think we do. Some called it pleating and. Yeah, it does your... look more like pleating. You could do it on your serger. I think then they call it gathering. Let's do this one. So this is a front and back project. Hi, Karen. How are you? Yeah, Dorothy, so we have some new viewers on. Um, kind of what the show's about. Um, we do a little bit of everything. So sometimes yeah. we review machines. We do new notions. We do fabric sales. We do tips, techniques. How to's. Mm -hmm. You can always go back and watch anything we've had before. We've made a couple of quilts as sew alongs. Um, we give away something every single show. You know, and the way that you win is that you just have to comment. We love emojis too. And yep, throw some emojis out. Tom is really good on emojis. There's several of you that do really well in the emojis. So, Joan is in stereo. Wow. In stereo. Okay. Step one completed. And so this gives you a guideline. We're going to use this guideline later when we piece these two pieces together. Cool thing about these, they're numbered. So sewing by numbers. I know, right? So coloring That's by like, numbers. You so, just have a different crayon. So it, it's a different crayon. That's right. And so I'm just gonna sew our next piece on, which is numbered right up here. 
Uh, Regina, great emojis. Peggy, great emojis. We love emojis. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> so Dor Dorothy had made a comment that she uh, had surgery, but she meant that she got a surgery. A surgery. Nothing like the spell check. Nothing like spell check. Surgery and surgery would definitely be far apart, so go with the surgery. Well, if you had surgery, I hope you recover quickly. And then I'm just going to trim this excess off up here. Choose my next color. Is and that a jelly roll? This is a jelly roll. Hi, Diane. How are you? Donna, great emoji. Love it. So welcome to the show, Linda. Thank you for coming to the open house. I hope everybody enjoyed the open house. I really did enjoy seeing everybody. It's always such a delight, especially, you know, people you haven't seen in a while. Coming in, get to say hi, then meeting new people. That's always fun, too. I am using my doohickey here to just press this seam over. You could glue them, but I think that might be just a little bit of overkill. I don't think you need to. Conveniently named by Donna, who is on the show tonight. Nice. It does have an unfortunate name. These retail for $7.99, I think that's right. Hi, Linda. Um, Welcome, but Heather. But it is called a multi-function finger presser tool. Now you know why we call it the doohickey. No sound on YouTube? Can we stop and do a sound check? Yeah, why don't everybody uh, weigh in on uh, sound on YouTube and Facebook and picture, and we'll just do a tech check real quick. Look how fast this is going together. Put my used strips over here so I'm not using them twice. All right, sounds like we're good on Facebook. Patsy's saying we're good on YouTube. Facebook's good. Okay, good vibes. I love that one. Good vibes. Tom said we're good. Marilyn said we're good. All right, nice. Thanks, guys. I can always count on all of you to keep us uh, squared away. Oh, yeah. And we need that sometimes, you know. If you've been watching the show for a while, you know, <laughs> sometimes we need a little help. It is live. Okay. Now let's finish the rest of this one. I'm trying to keep my strips separated so I know which ones I've used and haven't used. I'm going to put that one on the bottom. Green right there. <laughs> Great emojis. Love it. And uh, for those of you that were at the open house, what did you think of the June Taylor? If oh, the you cutting bought machine. some fabric. I love that machine. <laughs> Kathy said she keeps us on track because she doesn't want to miss something, so... Nope, nobody wants to miss anything. And I do believe there were four or five people that said we can no longer go on vacation because the show cannot be postponed for two weeks in a row. <laughs> well, we didn't really plan it that way. Um, that was just an unfortunate circumstance. <laughs> yeah. But I know what you mean. I missed all of you, for sure. And you got so many projects planned. I do have so many projects planned. So there it is. There is one half of our stocking. And I think I shorted myself. I'm going to have to pay attention when I'm piecing this. We do want to give a shout out to Miranda. We hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Well, under the weather today. It's kind of rainy and gloomy. It's great nap weather. <laughs> Jen said she got herself in enough trouble without buying any fabric. 
we'll be installing the automation for Jen on her Juki long arm. So that will be fun. I'm that sure she will be, will be happy. Uh, Shirley Stevens said, what are you making? So. Um, this is a uh, June Taylor Quilt As You Go project. And I'm looking for the green strip. There's half of it. There's another piece of it. <laughs> hmm. That's just no fair, Dorothy, when people are teasing you about fabric stores that they went by. Okay, let's pick all these up so that I can have them in one place because I've lost <laughs> a strip today. and I haven't even moved. I don't know how this is even possible. I do believe uh, Kathy Susan's actually on the feed right here, so maybe she'll weigh in. We got to see them as well. They seemed like they were doing very well. Oh, I used it twice in there. That's why. Okay, right. got two greens in there. This side's going to be different. That's how that works. Okay. There's a piece of paper under the sewing machine in the back. This place stuff all the time. <laughs> I do. It's it's That's how we like it different, yes. Oops, I got a little bit of that in there. I'm gonna leave it. You know, it's really the sewing season starting, right? I mean it's cooler here today. It's what in the sixties. So it's That's been nice. really hot and now it's kind of cooled down a little bit. We always look forward to that September weather. Yes, very much so. Very much so. <laughs> Turn that piece off. Dorothy said that she got some the quick needles and she can't find them so she's going to need a uh, metal detector oh <laughs> i hate it when i lose needles because invariably it's my feet that find them oh a hundred wow it's a hundred in oregon wow well, that means it may come this way no no this is <laughs> this is nice this is like perfect nap time weather Cheyenne, big shout out to you. Hello. Um, okay, so Donna said she is going to try to make Bargello, Bargello curtains. Do we have any tips for her? Um, cut those on the straight grain. You don't want to be sewing on the stretchy side because it gets really, really hard. But what a cool idea. Those will be really pretty. <laughs> Patsy said you sew like a rabbit and not a turtle. Nope. No turtles here. Okay. Let's put a white piece here. Yeah, there's a great tip for you, Dorothy. Starch is your friend. Yes, starch. Sew on the straight grain, not on the stretchy grain. Um, it's tempting to use a jelly roll for that. Don't. Yeah, Dorothy, sometimes we'll show, um, we carry a lot of different long arms, so we'll show different long arms and tips and stuff. We're going to be doing a little bit more of that as well. So that will be fun, I think. Mm -hmm. A little blue piece here. Yeah, it's way too hot. to be done with the heat yep i want to be done with the heat i'm ready for fall weather we were <laughs> talking about that today in kansas city we get a lot of electrical storms and somebody was asking me about their surge protector mm -hmm. and um so i just want to point out 
if you do get a surge and you have your sewing machine, regardless of how much it costs, because, you know, we love our machines, you need to replace the surge protector. They're only good for one surge. And the thing I like to do when I'm done sewing, this little power cord, just pull that sucker right out and leave it on the table. No surge is going to get through there. No surge is going to get through there. You don't have to worry about your um, your cord getting, because it's not pulling any electricity. So if you're not sewing, just leave that machine unplugged. Yeah. Okay. Amber's tip was uh, don't use the curtains to make a Bargello quilt. <laughs> don't use the curtains to make a Bargello quilt. Okay, so I am going to trim this down just with regular old scissors. Just a little bit because I want to be able to kind of line it up. And then I'm probably going to trim it down again afterwards. Or I could use the searcher that I have right here. Good. And you did get it all ready. I did get it out and get it ready. I may want to put some glue on that. I think I will. Before I go and surge. Uh, yeah, so it was a jelly roll, Amber. Yes, this was a jelly roll. And I'll tell you which one it was here in just a minute. So now you see why we sew this line on the back. So I'm going to throw all this over here. Oops. See, I think I need some glue here, don't you? Yeah, Dorothy, we have a lot of that. Yeah. I have some. We have people kind of from all over, East Coast, West Coast, Oregon, some people from Canada hop on every now and then. Um, we have some people overseas that hop on every now and then. Glue this one down. Good tip, Bernadine. What was the tip? Uh, so she says she turns out the lights and uses a flashlight and usually it shines off those needles and she can usually find the missing ones. That is a good tip. Mm -hmm. I love how we all just share so freely yeah. tips and Filters tricks. and, and sewers are some of the most giving people I've ever met. Always willing to make something for someone or cheer them up. I know. Oh, gosh, we've had all kinds of things on the show. <laughs> Patsy said magic. It's a jelly roll and now it's a stocking. <laughs> it was a jelly roll. Well, I only used, I think, eight strips out of this jelly roll. So, you know, if you're going to buy these, I would do several. Well, thanks, Peggy. Um, you know, thank everybody else that's on here. We just provide the platform. Hopefully some entertainment for you on a Tuesday night. There's always and, entertainment uh, value with us. <laughs> always. And so these just go together like this. And I'm just going to kind of feel where this seam is and kind of, you know, it's really just a guide. Yeah, and if, I mean, even if you live in a place, they're talking a little bit about surge suppressors. You live in a place where you have brownouts mm -hmm. or rolling brownouts as another, yep. um, just in general, to make sure that you've unplugged. And um, remember, if you've got a cabinet with an electric lift on it, too, it's, yep, it's not a bad thing to unplug those. Don't forget to right. unplug that cabinet. So I'm just kind of lining up these seams. I'm going to start up here at the top, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I'm going to trim this down. I think I am going to use a serger. Well, today for the first time, some of our staff members got to play with the L890, and so I think they had a lot of fun. They were making a bolster pillow. They didn't quite get to finish. Um, yeah. 
sorry about that, but um, at least they got a little bit of a taste of what that serger can do. Oh, just... Donna moved and she has not got to set up her sewing room yet. Oh, oh that's there's some. Mode. I'm just going to turn this a little bit because I might want to come back to it later. Sharon is on. Thank you, Sharon. I hope you did enjoy the event and learn a little bit. Uh, I heard you say several different things. Uh, that was the accessory box that yep. just took a dive. And so I am set up for a five thread overlock and I am just going to turn on my knife. I have to take this off to do that. Because I am going to trim this at the same time as I am sewing it. So that's us. Look, it's 6 p.m. Central Time in there because she's on Alaska time, which is either two or three hours behind us, depending on where you're at. Getting all my threads behind my loopers and everything. Okay. We will be adding some additional um, lives and some additional shows along the way once we get our studio built and we can kind of go in there and take off whenever we want. So, no presser foot. Some of your stuff is stranded in Minnesota. Uh-oh. This kind of glides along. It does. Oh, I didn't get your accessory on correctly. Oops, is it not on correctly? No, I missed a spot up. on my turn. Stacking up back here, Robert. <laughs> Sorry, dear. No, it's okay. I'm doing good. Working around with it. <laughs> Donna's going stir crazy because she can't get her stuff. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> I know. I think I should get this filled up full of sewing stuff. <laughs> and I missed a spot on my turn, so I'm just going to go back and do this little turn again. And the nice thing about the serger is I don't have to worry about anything with thread bulk or anything like that. I can just sew it. Dorothy, you just need to keep up with us, sign up so you get the notifications on either uh, YouTube, um, you know, smash up the like button yep, and do. subscribe. And then um, Joan has a lot of stuff planned with Serger. Mm -hmm. She's going to be doing some pretty cool projects. So you can oh, kind of find out about Sergers as you go. Sergers are absolutely your best friend. Here's your picture of the tension table. Oh, that is kind of wonky. Yeah, a little bit. Look at go. that. It's so much nicer. So I want this um, edge right up here to be really even. So I am just going to trim it with the rotary cutter. See if I can find it. 
Is it buried under the... Yeah, found it. See, this is just like your sewing room. <laughs> you just dig around till you find it? Just dig around till you find it. Okay. So, a couple of ways you can do your binding. Um, but let's, let's take a peek and see how it looks. Let's make all of our threads are trimmed off. There's one I can trim off there. And see what we have. Oh, that's a good use, yeah. So Ruth is gonna make some and donate it to the Good Samaritan home. Oh, that's so, so wonderful. I think that's a great idea. So one way that you could do it is to just roll this down. And and especially if you use like a really fancy stitch on your serger, you could just roll it down. I actually made binding. Isn't that cute? That's cool. It might fit my foot. No, mm, it's a little short. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some big old feet. You so, said clown feet. Well, they are. <laughs> you wear like a what? A thirteen? Something like that. I have to worry about someone stealing my shoes. <laughs> Or borrowing them or anything else. Yep, that's true. Nobody's going to wear your shoes. But it feels nice, too. It's got some weight to it. It's quilted. And so I was just going to use the traditional method for quilting. And, you know, the way we do it in, in quilting is you just attach it. And then flip it. And sew it. But since we already know how to do um, binding, I'm not going to do that right now because we've got a whole lot of prizes to give away. But what do you think of this? Isn't this cool? It's cool. Yeah, I think so too. And could the other thing you name, could do... You could do embroidered names on there, yep, right? Yeah, you could or use just... your you know, stitches on your embroidery machine or your uh, sewing machine to put somebody's name on here. Um, super easy before you piece it together. Or, um, you know, put all the pieces together. Um, and I do want to add a little hook onto here when we, uh, so we can hang it, right? Because that's what these are for. Debbie said that's the same size as her son's feet, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's super easy to make. Um, there are a ton of June Taylor projects. We have a bunch of them here in the store. You can see them on our website. Um, super easy to do. Anybody could do this. Beginning sewers, like if you have a grandson or a granddaughter that wants to learn how to sew, this is the perfect, perfect method Didn't to get them started. Didn't they make these little inserts that went in your boots like that? And kind of quilted? You kind of keep your feet warm, you know. You're thinking your about washes. going hunting already, aren't you? <laughs> Robert's already moving into hunting season. Yeah, why not? So Love this. Come by the store. I'll finish it later. And uh, we typically will put up the tutorial mm -hmm. um, video on how to make this. So you can always go back and rewatch. I know a lot of things are happening on the show. So a lot mm -hmm. of times you can go back if you missed a part or something like that. If so. you join late, if you missed a part, you can mm -hmm. go back and watch it. But yeah, these are great little hostess gifts. All kinds, you know, co-workers. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Yep. So again, thank you, thank you, all of you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight and coming to the grand opening. We're very, very grateful for all of you. As always, change your needle. Change your needle. Check your thread path. Oil your rotary hook. Oil your rotary hook. Yep. Usually that'll keep you going. That'll keep you going for a little while, for sure. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed their evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. That's all for us. Thank you.